So I'm hearing a lot of excitement about Clemson's offensive line recruits, Reed and um, Owens, and um, who's the other guy? So well, those three guys. But let me tell you something. I really don't think it's offensive line recruiting. I think it was, I think it's more a uh, development. I'll give you an example. Carmen Jackson did not live up to the hype. I mean, he was a five star out of Ohio, and he's barely on the Bengals. I mean, I, if you keep up with football, he barely on the Bengals. Mitch Hyatt, five star to Ohio. Didn't even get drafted. And this guy has two Super Bowl win, uh, two national championship win. Went up against Alabama. I think he played well. He come, he can't move in the offensive guard. Um, Pollard out of Southern Pines when he came out, he was highly ranked um, number four. Um. Taka out of uh, Kentucky, four star. So, so you had a lot of four star guys, and you had a couple of five stars been sitting there. But you know, I, I uh, part he struggled. My Jordan, he looks good, but I really think he's more of an interior guy on the next level. It's all about development, and that's um, the new offensive co- offensive line coach. Um, issue. We're going to see if he can develop talent. Because if he can't develop this talent that Clemson has, that's where a lot of our issues come through. Think back to T- ETN's uh, last year at Clemson. His yards per average dropped. Because the offensive line was so terrible. I'm just saying we got to look at that offensive line development um, for Clemson. So Austin is a new offensive line coach. We're going to see what he can do.